Hello and welcome to my channel, AB Make It Art Work, where we do what we do to make that art work for you. And today, I'm going to do what I do, and that's rant. And this is a very concentrated rant, because in recent months that feel like weeks or just days, we are just now seeing an explosion about a possible legislative event that will change the art culture as we know it, as far as social media goes. And that is the topic of the FCC trying to repeal net neutrality. And I do not see enough artists talking about this. I don't see enough people talking about this. You've got some people, mostly it's on Twitter, I saw that it was absent from my Facebook feed and I was terrified. And I'd heard about it maybe a couple months prior from a game reviewer that mostly does one-line sentence jokes. And my husband at first didn't think it was real until we started seeing it more frequently as far as game reviewers go. and. Anyways, let's get to this topic that, why is this important for artists? Well, let's talk about what Ajit Pai says uh, repealing net neutrality will do for the people. Um, supposedly, so this will make the internet free. Uh, it'll create more investment for the internet. It will allow for a more open market for the internet. and. Oh, better and more accessible for business. And he tries to, in a lot of the videos you'll probably see on YouTube if you do look up net neutrality, to make it seem like this is better for the people. But honestly, the only people that this is better for is a bigger company. Um, hey, let's look at the fact. You can't make something free by adding additional charges to it. You can't try to use reform as a guise to freedom when the thing you're trying to reform is already a free resource. You gotta pay for the data, but you're not paying to access to the website, so that's already debunked. You're not making the internet free if you repeal net neutrality. Um, creates more investment. The only people that's gonna get the investment is money from pockets to pay for internet packages. That doesn't sound like much of an investment except for subscribers to internet server providers having to pay for things that they had open access to. And supposedly more open market. The only open market is that now your service provider can charge you for accessing your social media. They can charge you for looking at your entertainment. They can charge you or they don't even have to charge you. They can just slow down your speed, so your access speed, so that a website doesn't even load. Better and more accessible? I just explained that they could slow down your, your internet speed to certain websites if they don't agree with it. If they don't agree with your music provider, like iTunes, they can make it impossible to download music unless you pay for that package. And if you want to make it more accessible for new businesses, I've started a nonprofit before and there's a lot of fees in that. There's a lot of fees in regards to starting a business. And if you're a new up and coming artist, you're already paying for your materials and supplies. You are paying to make merchandise. Sometimes you have to pay for accounts so that you can have shops. And that's not cheap. Sometimes they're a hundred dollars for a basic package with a shop and having to add then maybe a $50 charge to access your websites. And in 2006, AOL was caught blocking emails from people. So if they don't approve of your business, if your internet service provider does not approve of your art making business and your ability to send an email to a client, doesn't show up for weeks or months on end, that could be your internet service provider saying that they don't believe in your type of business. So as an artist, not being able to access social media to network for yourself, that's debilitating. 
social media is a great resource for networking and getting your art out there. And if you can't access that, access any of your emails, any of your internet profiles, your portfolios that you've set up. I mean, a lot of colleges look at internet portfolios for art, and if you have no access to it, it makes sharing and starting up an art business impossible. And I know that DeviantArt's had some jokes, but right now I know that my age bracket is mostly 18 to 35. And if you're an artist, an artist starting up on the internet, especially in America, you need to voice your opinions, voice it in your art, and say, keep net neutrality. Because I shouldn't have to pay extra to access my DA. I shouldn't have to worry if my art is going to be censored by taking forever and a century to load. And it's just so crazy to me. And if you believe that net neutrality is an important thing for artists, share this with everyone. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it within your art community, share it with as many people as you can because there are not enough artists talking about this because this especially affects our ability. This affects our community. And that's all I got to say. Lots of love, everyone. Bye.